Did you recognize them from just a couple weeks ago? They were the ones that got baptized, right? Yeah. And now they're joining the church. And, and Carol, will you lead them through the process? They're going to sign a certificate. Now, why do we do that? Because there's a covenant taking place. And if you notice in life, the things that are important, you sign. So we don't fill in their name. We have them sign it here. And then we're going to share a little covenant ceremony here together with them as they are signing. And we want to get them on video there of this. It's one of the more precious times within the body of Jesus Christ. Do you know why? We are joining ourselves to him. Now, that happens at salvation, but they are tangibly doing it by joining the Church of the Nazarene and the specifically the Ark Church here today in a covenant. They're saying, they're declaring that Jesus Christ is the bridegroom. They're identifying with the bride at the Ark of Church of the Nazarene. And uh, I've really enjoyed getting to know this couple. If you don't know their story, let me tell you a little bit about it, why they're signing their grandma passed away, and she'd been praying for all our grandkids. At the funeral, all the grandkids came in the next Sunday. Here was uh, Crystal and Jason sitting in church. They said, we're here to support Grandpa Ken here so that, that he wouldn't be alone in church. The next week, they were here, and I was like, I'm so impressed. You've come two weeks in a row for Grandpa. They said, no, we came for him last week. We've come this week for ourselves. Isn't that cool? That's really great. All right. And you two stay right there, Carol. Stay there. Put hands on them behind them there, Carol. Lay hands on them. And uh, Pastor DJ, come down and lay hands on them also here. The covenant is this. In our manual, we use words that are, are like a marriage ceremony. Dearly beloved, we're gathered together here. They say that at the beginning of a marriage ceremony. So you are, it's part of the same covenant that we're gathered together here to join this couple with the body of Jesus Christ. In it is associations that you can't find in the world. There's the how fellowship. There's the covenant of the word of God with the people coming in fellowship with one another and with God. The Truths that we believe are simple. We believe in the full trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We especially emphasize that salvation is only through Jesus Christ, through his death and resurrection. And subsequently to that, there's another work. It's the work of the Holy Spirit. And within the Holy Spirit, you're covenant to let God work through every aspect. So you ask him to fill your mind, your will, your emotions with his spirit. And in doing so, something takes place. It's called sanctification or being baptized in the Holy Spirit or being filled with the Spirit. We believe in these truths, and we believe also that there will be a day where there's a final judgment, where all will be judged, and some will gain heaven, and others will be sent to hell. We believe that Jesus Christ will return. The question is, do you hardly believe these truths also? If so, say, I do. And do you acknowledge that you're in covenant with Jesus Christ, that he is your Lord and Savior? If so, say, I do. All right, I'm going to come up and join. And would you all extend a hand towards Crystal and, and Jason? Lord, we've watched this couple over the last couple months. They've grown in their love and their desire for you. Thank you. Today, they have joined the Ark Church. Today, they have acknowledged that they want to be identified with your body. We pray special anointings on them, Lord, as they find their place of service within your church. They've been growing and learning through here in Sunday worship and Sunday school and coffee house and, and meeting with grandpa on Thursday nights and Bible study. So many exciting things have been happening. Today, we thank you that the body is a little bit stronger because you have drawn a couple to come to covenant with us. Put your anointing and blessing upon them. We pray in Jesus' name. Now, this last part is significant to just us. If you join other Nazarene churches, all that is pretty much the same. But they've joined the Ark Church of the Nazarene, which stands for Acts of Random Kindness. 
do you covenant now that you have identified with this local body to be open to the Holy Spirit to lead you to divine appointments of acts of kindness in people's lives? If so, say I do. All right. We all extend the, the hand of fellowship representing the Church of the Nazarene and the Ark Church today. And congratulations on being a part of our church. Hey, let's all stand together. Sorry for the delay in church this morning. We were getting some video and things set up back there that we were having uh, technical difficulties, but I think we're in good shape now.